Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. This time as Isaac. The blue baby run from the last episode went fantastically. I had a really good time with it. Uh, some people are going to think that that run doesn't count because we got Brimstone. Sucks to their Asmar. That was a, a little bit of a tricky run that we... Uh, it was elevated to a winning run by solid play and that very, very rarely happens. Um, probably could have won even if I'd played... Yeah, I'm going to take this. Uh, probably could have won if I'd played even up, to, you know, down to my average, if you will. Uh, but I feel like I gave myself a much more comfortable victory based on the fact that I uh, actually didn't take an absolutely staggering amount of uh, dumb damage on that last run. It was a fun one. I had a lot of fun with it. I hope it was fun to watch, but I don't know because I don't, you know, watch these. Jesus Christ, that would like double my hours in Isaac. Luckfoot is uh, a great item to have, especially if we're going to get a pill right off the bat. So I, I really like Luckfoot. Oh, you shouldn't pick it up because it's a special item. It'll augment whatever else you get on the... Blah, blah. It's okay. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to take this pill yet. Just because I worry um, that it, it could be like bombs or key, which I guess would actually be fine. But I might want to use a bomb on this fight, for example. I don't know what else would actually be problematic. It could be telepills, and it would cause me to not get to fight the boss or go to the curse room, I suppose. So what we'll probably do is uh, fight the boss, finish the fight, pick up the cube of meats, go to the curse room, and then pop this inside of the curse room just in case it is a telepills. Now, mind you, that's not a great percentage chance. It's probably like a 1 in 8 or something like that. Um, but it does happen. And if it saves me another, you know, half red heart, then so be it. I think it's the best place to use it, and there's no rush to use it either. Of course, if this was like a tears upgrade, it would be nice to have had it for this boss fight. But hey, it's the first boss in the game. If we need a buff to fight it, we got some problems, don't we? So there's some HP that I can't pick up. Let's come back here, and we're going to get a little low, but we have two chests. One is a, one is a bomb. Those other two are bombs. We got a speed upgrade, which is fine. I'm happy to have it. I got very lucky to dodge those bombs. We did manage to pick up that half heart, and it's down to the next floor. Uh, unfortunately, with no keys and no spirit hearts, which are probably the two consumables that I, uh, I value the most when heading down to the second floor. That key helps out a lot. At least it'll allow us to go to the item room. Why keys? Why spirit hearts? Well, keys so we can open the item room and uh, improve ourselves somewhat, besi uh, besides just our boss room item. And spirit hearts so that we can protect our red hearts and have a much better chance of getting a deal with the devil, which can really set the tone for how the run is going to go. For example, the dominant theme on the last run was uh, the fact that we got brimstone. We got brimstone on the second floor on a deal with the devil. It makes a big difference if you can get a, uh, a half-decent deal with the devil item right away. Not really doing too much with our D6 right away, but I do like having a cube of meat. That's... this is not great. Gotta sneak in some shots while they're far away. No secret room there, which is unfortunate. Oftentimes, because there's just not that many rooms uh, at this point in the game, you can get very lucky and actually find the secret room by blowing those guys up. Even if you pay no attention to whether or not they're actually gonna blow up against the wall. Um, but at least they didn't blow up in my face, which is... Something you're going to have to ask your mother about, I guess. Oh, man. Almost took some very dumb damage there. I'm, I'm excited by the fact that I haven't taken any damage yet on this floor. It means that our deal with the devil chances should be pretty solid. Nothing here. Okay. Little Chub is also, in my opinion, not a re-rollable item. I mean, everything's re-rollable, I guess, except for items that literally can't be re-rolled. But uh, I think it's not worth re-rolling. I think the damage that it gives you is really good. It's kind of like a little miniature passive kind of brimstone type thing going on and it's very effective against bosses like this one for example where we can do uh you know 30 percent of their hp with just one convenient shot like that and oftentimes uh, i could take damage against pin because i'm an idiot so to be able to uh take out pin a little bit more easily than would otherwise be possible is great uh and we're almost done with this fight we did it. We got Squeezy, which is going to protect us spirit heart-wise. Might as well take it right off the bat. And let's see what we have in our Devil Room. So Guppy's Paw. People always want me to take Guppy's Paw. But I'd rather reroll and have two different reroll uh, opportunities here. Of course. Well, sorry, Guppy's Tail was the other one that we saw. Not Guppy's Paw. I'm going to go for it. We're going to try to become Guppy. Guppy. 
just trying to figure out how I should do this. Like, I guess if I'm gonna lose the heart anyway, I might as well turn it into a spirit heart first. Yeah, okay, that was that was how that should have gone. Um, and I, I, this is always gonna be people like, oh, well, you should have taken Guppy's tail then. Well, if we took Guppy's tail, we wouldn't have gotten Guppy's paw. If it was Guppy's head, you'd be right, because we could take Guppy's head and then, um, you know, put it back down, reroll it, pick up all the Guppy items, and, you know, Bob's your uncle, we're Guppy after the second floor. That would be crazy useful. Uh, but we can't really do that in a situation where we had a passive guppy item. We can bomb our way into the shop here, though, and there is enough money to make this worthwhile. This is really good. Hopefully something that gives me, uh, the ability to augment my rerolls, although I'm not gonna be too picky. I say hopefully because I would love to have more rerolls to possibly reroll devil items more often, but hey. We get the treasure map, which is, uh, absolutely acceptable. Earlier you get it, the better. It's good in the late game, but the earlier you get it, the quicker it pays for itself. And we still have seven cents. No bombs, no keys, but that's that's okay. So our HP has obviously suffered, but we did get a tears upgrade, and we're two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. I like this. I, I'm I'm content with this current situation. Now, little Chub, also a, a very important item uh, for our current uh, damage, at least, might not end up being uh, the most important item that we have on this run, but is very nice damage-wise. That is our item room and a mob trap room. We're gonna have a reroll uh, available, so I would very much love to just get a key drop, but no such luck. Ten bombs is... it is worth picking up. I guess we might as well just go through with it. We're not gonna be able to, like, min-max our rerolls as effectively as I might like, but that's okay. Most important thing is not our item room. It's uh, giving ourselves the best possible chance to get a deal with the devil, and then, um, you know, having a reroll stored up for that time. To possibly get Guppy's head, or even Guppy's tail, if it's if it's gonna show up again. I would actually prefer to get Guppy's head, though. Because we could pick up Guppy's head, become Guppy, and then re-roll it and get another free deal with the devil item for the one that we already spent. And, of course, you know, with our HP being so low as a result of nine lives, we are in a position where, even if we don't get a Guppy item on a deal with the devil, we'll probably end up stealing uh, any worthwhile items if we can. So this secret room kind of sucks, because we can't... Uh, get into any special rooms as a result, but we might as well check it out regardless. That's a staggering amount of money. I'm sorry I said that the secret room sucks, because now if we get a, wow, if we get a, uh, a key, we'll definitely use it on our, wow, that's amazing, we'll definitely use it on our shop instead of our item room, even though it does fuck with our reroll, you know, a little bit, because we're only going to get like one now, or maybe even zero. Now we should still get one, unless something goes terribly wrong. But we might be able to buy a key on here, so ideally, we would have, um, good shop item, and buy a key. Mm, this is not even close to that. We'll reroll Steam Sale. Oh, we get bum friend. That's frustrating, a little unfortunate, but that's okay. We probably will not have another reroll for that shop on this floor. Steam Sale might have paid for itself, but I, I think it's worth re-rolling if you have the re-roll to get better items, not just on like a strict like cost-benefit analysis. I, I think you have to take into, a fa take into um, effect the fact that you're gonna have, uh, you know, basically by buying the Steam Sale, you lose one shop pedestal. And that shop pedestal could be so much more valuable than saving you like 15 or 21 cents over the course of a run. So, I, uh... I'm disappointed, though, with the way that turned out. In hindsight, it would have been for the best to probably, uh... Well, we don't have a key, so it doesn't matter, but the ideal way for this to turn out probably... Oh, no! Awful damage. Probably would have been to, uh... Buy Steam Sale, save your reroll for the possibility of using it on the item room if we'd gotten a key, which we didn't, at least not yet. And just be content with that, but... Whatever. We could have gotten Nun's Habit there, and then uh, it would have seemed a lot... Everyone would have been a lot happier about that. So do we reroll Cat of Nine Tails, or do we... Well, let's check our curse room first. Or do we uh, reroll the shop item? Bombs. Bombs. Uh, I think we reroll the shop item instead of rerolling Cat of Nine Tails. I kind of don't want HP yet, because I'd like to get free deals with the devil by sacrificing lives. Yeah, that worked out a lot better. I'll buy the Spirit Heart just to keep us safe for now as well. With 10 bombs, we should be able to find our second secret room fairly easily. We already looked down here. So, there's really only, like, two more possible locations. 
There it is right there. And it's a bunch of red hearts we can't use. But hey, we looked at least. Could have been a fortune teller. Maybe we get a key out of it. So we're not going to pick up Cat of Nine Tails. It's an interesting run so far. Uh, no deal with the devil makes me a little disappointed. But hey, we got Nun's Habit and uh, next floor, if there's an arcade, which I can't tell yet if there is or isn't. Um, but if there is an arcade, then we can get a staggering amount of rerolls, assuming we actually get keys and have the ability to access our item room shop and whatnot. Now, when we get a reroll, oh, we don't even need a reroll to do this, but we should uh, see if we can get maybe a uh, special room here. Oh, we can bomb our way into the mob trap room. Thanks, secret room. Very effective. Um, very excited about that. I could also just walk in. I guess I shouldn't be too sad. I mean, I, this does save me a bomb, but we'll see what our, our mob trap room has on offer. If it's skeleton key, all is forgiven. If it's not, fuck everything. Uh, that doesn't appear to be skeleton key, but I'll go through with it anyway. Child's Heart is a bad trinket, or at the very least, a not good trinket, in my opinion. There's a subtle distinction. I've never been in a situation where I've been like, thankfully I have Child's Heart. And I don't think a situation where we have one red heart container is gonna change my mind too much on that. I may be mistaken. We'll find out, though. And just take these guys out super quickly. The longer the, the guppy gambit, as uh, I'll call it, goes on without actually paying out, the more dangerous the run gets, the, the more nervous you get about the possibility of, hey, what if no guppy item ever shows up? You know, that's, that's a very real concern. If we don't get, I mean, here's the thing, if we don't get guppy items, effectively, what did we lose? Not really that much. We lost two HP upgrades, or one HP upgrade. We turned the other one into Spirit Hearts, so it's not technically a loss anyway, but... Um, so, it's one of those situations where probably, even if we had gotten the guppy item, assuming this run loses, uh, even if we'd gotten the guppy item, we still probably would have lost anyway. Or even if we hadn't gone the guppy route, we still would have lost anyway, is maybe the most accurate way to describe it. But, if we do become guppy, that solves a lot of our problems uh, very, very quickly. Come on. Did you see the, the ridiculous length to which that neck extended? There's some serious bullshit going on with these guys. These might be my least favorite enemies that you can encounter at this point in the game. I still think Massive Infamy are worse just for their ability to like chain damage you. I know that we have a re- ah, let's do it. I was gonna say we're, we're gonna look for the shop first, but fuck it. Since we have a reroll, let's let's actually take this opportunity to get some uh, rerolls active here. And we got the Miter. Hopefully we get another key, but either way, this has been a, a pretty good decision for us. It worked out positively, I'd say. So, we'll come up here. Uh, could have made a terrible mistake to actually shoot at those TNT barrels with uh, little Chad, which would have exploded them for sure. This is Arcade, which is uh, great. We, we don't really have the best loadout for getting a payout from the, the Blood Bank, but we can at least generate rerolls very slowly um, with, with the help of the Blood Bank here if we need to. But first we need a key, and that could just as easily come about. Rusted Key, remember, just doesn't work. But um, that could very easily come about as a result of this as well. So let's do some gambling here. See if we can get some payouts. A spirit heart is uh, is quite nice. A spirit heart is quite nice. I don't want to gamble yet until we know that we can uh, access a room. I was really hoping that would be justice, but the fool card is is good for later. Man, we are we do have luck foot. That's I guess why we're getting such good payouts. But uh, I'm not complaining. Hey, two keys. There we go. So we could very well fight greed in here. Ace of spades, much much better than uh, than uh, the. Uh, Child's Heart. I forgot the name of it because I never use it. Wow, thank you for this staggering amount of HP. We'll try to spend money on here. It's Notched Axe. Notched Axe is god-awful, which you don't need me to tell you, of course. So we'll come down here, gamble, and get a reroll. And because we're gonna go so hard on rerolls here, I think we can totally uh, justify buying Notched Axe, putting it down, and then rerolling it. And give us the coin purse. Um, we have Luckfoot, so coins are good. So let's get them. Let's see what this is. Puberty, that sucks. Coins are not bad would maybe be a more accurate way to put it. I bought that key, uh, I feel okay about that. And we got a health upgrade out of it, so I feel better about that now. It's our other pill, it's uh, puberty, right? I think it's puberty. Oh, we'll get this. Uh, I say we do a little bit more gambling in this room. Red hearts allow us to play the deal with the devil a little bit more often. And spirit hearts are lovely and bombs and keys are both uh, very worthwhile right now. Blue baby soul kinda sucks. 
More spirit hearts would be great, though. Hey, there we go. So, I think we take the magician card with us here. We should get a reroll just in time for the boss room. That HP upgrade that we picked up, you know, we might lose it, like, immediately. After we take a deal with the devil, but uh, I hope we don't. We took some damage, but it wasn't red hard damage. And bomb for a key is a great trade here. Don't think we'll find the second secret room here, but still. Good trade. Might as well look, right? And our boss fight is going to be Pestilence. So I'm going to pop a Magician. Not that it's necessarily super important, but hey, if we got the Magician card, we might as well use it at least once. And it's looking like it's going to be a pretty easy fight against Pestilence. Get a second level cube of meat. It's nice, you know. Ups our DPS a little bit. Gives us another... Um, Another familiar. Well, our first familiar, I guess. There we go. That was a very good little Chad shot. Or little Chub shot. Every time with that mistake. No wonder people are so furious. You got his name wrong, you scumbag. They're totally different. Chub and Chad. Now. Just hang back here. Deal with the devil. Deal with the devil would be real juicy. Ooh. Tasty. Let's see what we got. It's Krampus. Totally totally fine with it. Um, we're gonna take a lump of coal. I, I guess, you know, most of the time I am a pretty conservative Isaac player, so a lot of people are gonna be frustrated with this and say, oh, reroll it, you wanna become Guppy, reroll it. You're not wrong, but this is me keeping not all my eggs in one basket, as, uh, as they say. You know, what if I reroll it and get the nail or something like that? Then I've, I've given up a lump of coal, which is a pretty nice damage upgrade in most situations, uh, and I've given it up for, like, one spirit heart. Or I've given it up to lose the D6. So, we have no uh, real opportunity to use rerolls here. I think because we have a nice supply of bombs and a fairly constricted layout, I am going to look for the second secret room. There's a few different possible locations for it. Uh, there's two bordering this room. I don't think we'll chug through all nine bombs here. Okay. Okay. There's... Uh, I'm pretty sure now that uh, there's only two more locations for it. I'd really prefer not to spend five bombs to find one second secret room, but it could be viable. And here. All right, was this five bombs wasted? Where could I have missed it? At this point, I'm actually just curious to learn something. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, maybe here, even though it's adjacent to the secret room? Ah, okay, good. And it's missing page. So we traded six bombs for missing page. Probably one of the objectively worst deals in the Binding of Isaac history, but hey. So be it, I suppose. So we're going to gamble a little bit here. We do have a few red hearts available. Uh, but mostly, I'm going to try to, you know, get consumables. We can always get money later. Um, the Cancer Trinket is super good, obviously. Let's see if we can actually pick it up. We can always pick it up when we leave. Two of diamonds, very nice. Uh, so what I'm going to be looking for is actually picking up some red hearts. Don't... Good. Ace of spades is fine too, but I, I really want the cancer card more than anything else. Um, or the cancer trinket, I should say. Come on! This is impossible. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now don't lose it. Uh, so how do we use our two of diamonds card? Because I want to take the Fool card with me, we end up in a bit of a... Uh, you know, a bit of a not fantastic situation with respect to our uh, Two of Diamonds. Normally, what one would end up doing is, uh, in all likelihood, saving this card until we had enough money to double it into like 20 cents or something like that. But I think what we'll end up doing is we'll actually... Uh, well, we took a red heart, so we're going to play the Blood Bank. Then we're going to sacrifice, like, a, a few spirit hearts here. And there we go. So we got a dime out of it, which is crazy good. Uh, and I, I'd like to go up a little higher. I'd like to go to, like, 40 cents. And never mind. This is fine, too. So that I think that was super worthwhile. And now that we have two of diamonds, um, I popped it. And we'll take the Fool card with us. I don't think we need to gamble anymore. I was going to start playing those guys again. And, of course, we could get a payout there. And in fact, maybe I will, just for a little bit, because it doesn't hurt me to do this. And I'd actually very much like to get um, Crystal Ball and Fly Love, if possible. And, you know, stuff like this doesn't hurt either, if we get, like, another Two of Diamonds card in the process. Um, 
And of course, more spirit hearts helps as well. But um, yeah, if we can get crystal ball and fly love, then we actually have like a reroll. Maybe get a double item room in this arcade. Okay, the sun card, probably uh, more valuable at this point, or at any point maybe, than the, than the fool card. I think the sun card is worth way more than a deal with the devil. There we go. So I was hoping we'd get a crystal ball. Crystal ball pays out with yet another spirit heart, and we have a reroll that we can use on it. I think we'll go down to 20 cents on this guy just to see if he pays out with fly love, and we can get a double reroll. I doubt it'll happen, but in the meantime, we're getting a ton of keys anyway. Yeah, this is beautiful. And uh, sure, even more. Sign me up. Uh, not that time. And your final play. Oh, please pay out. This would be so good. Uh, now I want to play him like until we get down to like 15 cents just to see if we get it. Come on. Come on. Oh, are you serious? The red hearts are not important right now. He's getting a little salty now. Okay, come on. This is third play. We should win this one. Hey, so good. So now we get double rerolls here. We get the ladder and Spelunker's hat. It's actually... Oh, we wanted that cancer trinket. Um, this is a goddamn mess in here. Ladder's fine. You know, I don't love it, but we have it. And this is what we want. Cancer trinket in the sun. We'll leave. This turned out fantastically for us. Spelunker's hat, of course, so useful because it allows us to now find those secret rooms without wasting six bombs. Which is very nice. That arcade gave us uh, an HP upgrade Spelunker's hat in the ladder. Plus enough money to go to the shop on the next floor. This is a, a fantastic position for us. Hopefully we just get a deal with the devil now on the depths part one and, and all is forgiven. And our, we got a lump of coal on that floor as well. That, that might go down as the uh, the most important floor in, in this Isaac run. And nothing was necessarily gifted to us there. We also got the miter on that floor, I think. The miter was a little gifted to us, but you know I had to make the decision to go into that room when it didn't look like we would have enough keys to maybe get to the shop and the uh, and the item room, and I had enough money to go to the shop. So, you know, a little bit of good luck, a little bit of good fortune, a little bit of good play ends up working out for us. All right. It's a busted room. Up here we have our shop, which I'm... Oh, lucky me. Very much hoping does not contain greed. That's bad damage, but that's okay. It contains greed. We also got the sun card on that last floor, and it is worth noting that the sun card is like quite possibly more valuable than any of these other items we picked up. If we are able to use it effectively. And our damage right now is sweet. If we could become guppy, our damage would be, well, even sweeter. Doesn't look like we'll be able to bomb our way into any special rooms here. That's um, some unfortunate damage. We do have a decent amount of spirit hearts, but I would prefer to take uh, less hits if possible. Thank you, Miter. Let's see, we've got in our secret room. Could be an item. Is not an item, but that's okay. We got a long way to go before we find a uh, another room with some actual item potential on it, unless we run into a surprise golden chest. But this should be a free spirit heart, which is valuable. Especially if we can avoid getting hit. All right. You, oh my God. Usually you get like one free or two free kills as a result of uh, little Chad firing as soon as you enter the room. But lately enemies have just been dodging it right away, which is super annoying. Uh, there's our item room, so I'm happy we made the decision to rush up here. No arcade on this floor, but since we're saving money, wouldn't be surprised to find one on the next floor. And we get the relic. Relic and miter. Uh, combined, it basically solves our, our HP concerns, even if we don't get any more red hearts for the rest of the game. We should be in a very, very good position, especially if we could somehow... Yeah, that was bad. Especially if we could somehow, like, lose our red hearts in a deal with the devil, but keep our spirit hearts. I don't know if that actually can work out some way or another. Alright, small rock. No, but a spirit heart, so that's fine. Come on, little Chad. You know the deal here. Oh, little Chad doesn't hit that way. Okay. Unfortunate, but what's done is done. Boss fight against uh, Monstro 2. We've got a lot of knockback here. But as long as we kind of keep our wits about us, we should be fine to pretty much tear uh, Monstro 2 a new asshole. I'm sure he'll be back on the, on the chest or the cathedral with one of his closest friends. I really hope Rebirth does not have a 3 Monstro 2 room. That would uh, be the stuff of nightmares. Stem cells is fine. Uh, I'm going to pick it up. At this point, I'm kind of giving up the dream of becoming Guppy to some extent. But if we get a free Guppy item, I would love it, of course. Or if we get a deal with the devil for Guppy, I could take it and not lose a life in the process, which would actually be great as well. So it's not that I'm necessarily uh, not interested in becoming Guppy right now. It's more that, you know, 
crunching the numbers and there's not that many more uh, items for us to possibly get that guppy payout. The curse room could change that and uh, we have plenty of spirit hearts to sacrifice at those. Emperor card is good, sun card is better though. And there is a curse room. It's one of our last opportunities to, in all honesty, get this guppy item. No, we got two spirit hearts out of it though, so we ended up uh, getting paid on that pretty well, and we will go and check our final room here. I uh, very much doubt that it'll have something useful, but you know, you, you gotta scour everything. You know, if you bring your metal detector to the beach, you don't just wanna look at one part of it. You wanna explore the whole thing. We got an extra key, which could prove valuable later, and another key and another bomb afterwards as well. And another bomb, so we actually got a lot of consumables there. But, uh, relatively tame floor, shall we say. HP upgrade, the relic was great actually, but apart from that, a shop that contained greed, and we're really going to be looking to uh, Depths 2 or Necropolis, uh, deal with the devil accepted, to give us some good stuff here. So it is Necropolis, it is Curse of the Lost, and we can't bomb our way into any special rooms. Secret room could be special in its own right. Let's have a mini boss here, please. Mm. Was hoping that we'd have a mini boss so that we'd guaranteed not have uh, greed in the shop, but so be it. This is fine. This is actually a good test for us. We'll see how strong we are relative to one of the most difficult floors we could face right now. And of course, now they're giving me a surplus of keys just to make me feel bad about uh, not taking Guppy's paw, Guppy's tail. Every time, every time. Now, good stuff. Get the heck out of there. That was bad damage, self-inflicted more or less though. So I can't really complain. Have we gotten range upgrades? I don't think so, but we're still handling this quite well. Monstro, Monstro's Tooth, not Monstro 2. Uh, honestly, I don't mind uh, getting spacebar items here. It doesn't really bother me that much because I expect that we have a pretty good chance to run into an arcade. And ooh, if I had known what this room would contain, I might not come down here, but yeah, if we uh, if we run into an arcade, that's that's better for for us. We get as many rerolls as we want. Decent chance of getting the blood bag. And who knows what we uh, what we get in those rerolls? Sweets. Okay. Well, we're gonna clear out this entire side. It was pretty you know expedited fashion with which to tackle like a quarter of this floor. And I I just froze there, man. I can't believe I didn't take damage. Because I totally froze up. That was uh, not very composed play from yours truly. But at the same time, that's not going to matter, I think. We're going to get out of this room without taking damage. Part of that is a uh, result of the ladder. Sure, free bomb. Uh, part of that is the result of the ladder. Part of it just uh, good fortune, I'd say. So we still have, hopefully, curse room, shop... And we can't dodge if we put ourselves in this position, so we got to be a little careful about that. But hopefully, a uh, curse room, shop, arcade left uh, on this floor. Library might be nice as well. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll be happy for a library if there's an arcade as well. Because then we'll get plenty of rerolls that we can use on the, uh, on the books. Okay. So we've got our other reroll set here. Crack the Sky is very much not worth picking up. In our situation, maybe if we didn't have any space bar item, we could be persuaded. But instead, we reroll it, it becomes a fat odd mushroom, which is a totally acceptable upgrade. Slight speed downgrade, or slight tears downgrade, but uh, a damage upgrade and an HP upgrade. Sure, this is good. Let's check up here, there could be a special room. It is an arcade, okay. This, this is the worst uh, layout we've had thus far for uh, Massive Infamy, but, you know, one of our very precious bombs gets the job done there. Come on, just get into the lanes here. Come on, little chub, this is your time to shine, buddy. You just sneak in one amazing shot. Bad damage on my part, it's okay, it happens. Not too salty about half a spirit heart down there. So we're not gonna go to the arcade yet, we wanna find another, uh, another terminal if possible, and I think our closest one by terminal, I just mean like an endpoint. Um, our closest one is likely to be down here in the shop type area. Okay. So my my overall strategy for these rooms right now is, you know, find a gap that you can hang out on top of and, and just camp it, man. 
the masks can't get to you and that makes life an awful lot easier it also it really hampers your dodging but usually you don't get hit by the the hearts you get hit by the masks often you get hit by both but um, if you can only choose one to avoid it you'd probably take the masks so this is not a uh, it's not a terminal actually well it is but it doesn't have anything for us unfortunately seriously like just kind of a, a comical degree or frequency of these guys showing up okay it's gone well we, we haven't taken very much damage against these hearts in all honesty that's gonna be our boss room uh, which is the only dead end that we don't quite want yet so we're wasting rerolls here but we're gonna get so many from the arcade anyway that it probably won't be a big deal death is not uh, a teleportation card so we can't really make good use of that <sighs> well our guppy chances uh, every every dead end we go to that doesn't have uh, a shop in it or an I well we've already been to the item room or a curse room or etc etc lowers our guppy chances a little bit because we're not gonna be able to use as many rerolls this death card by the way I'm super stoked to have mm, almost uh, I'm super stoked to have it because it means that we'll basically have a free oh, that was awful we'll basically have a free mask of infamy room which is priceless almost I would pay five cents for it let's put it that way a yeah, boss trap room I used it here I was pretty confident I was gonna take damage so uh, well boss trap room is fine we'll be able to access that and finally we've accessed our shop as well uh, with a, with this many bombs I think we can afford to look at least and if we have to wait until we get uh, done with the arcade to pick up an eternal heart and it costs us an extra bomb in the process then whatever still still worth it that's a fortune teller we we get great payouts from fortune tellers but let's see so we're just gonna buy the compass I think we're gonna buy this my hope was that um, maybe we'd get a teleportation card and that teleportation card would allow us to get a deal with the devil on the boss oh well um, just quickly go through here so what's our strategy now well uh, we're gonna play the blood bank until we get down to one red heart maybe play this just to see if we get like a flat penny or something mom's pearl pretty good as well but we really need some kind of penny trinket to to have the synergy work here but the payout is, is well worth it regardless so we're gonna do this uh, to get into that boss trap room if I get the blood bag well shit happens it's a happy accident Empress is not good enough but it's good enough to take into the boss trap room just not good enough to take for the remainder of the game um, we got crystal ball again I actually didn't think that could happen to be 100% honest with you because uh, we've already had it and picked it up but I guess it doesn't play by the same rules lovers uh, yeah so this is good and I know I could use this to just milk the crystal ball but I'd rather use this to um, reroll the crystal ball milk the rerolls on the crystal balls oh we already have a reroll available there we go we got kamikaze which is obviously terrible I should stop playing with fire and just go to our uh, boss trap room while I have this HP to be honest with you but I also want to get the rerolls here if possible so there's yum heart we won't use that right away but we will get a reroll just in case I don't think it really matters whether we have mom's pearl or uh, cancer uh, we shouldn't have left in the middle of that but that's okay so hopefully we'll just get a decent item from here and we've really made arcades work for us uh, the luck foot has been normally you know you get good pills from the luck foot but here it's really had its biggest uh, or its strongest effect yeah that's good in uh, in giving us great arcades uh, where we kind of don't want them to pay out but they keep paying out but that works out well for us anyway because we have nuns habit and can just reroll fly love and and crystal ball into items that actually have some usefulness for us so we fire much more slowly now but I have to get used to it because we're not gonna be getting mom's purse anyway this is what our damage is gonna look like after this floor not necessarily stomping Ch uh, chub but uh, you know it's okay and we will probably gamble a lot here I know I normally don't but uh, the fact that there's so many fortune tellers and the fact that they seem to consistently pay out pretty nicely is giving me pause there and making me think that we should uh, should gamble a little bit more often we still have some reroll pedestals to, to make do with on this floor and I still want to get blood bag or IV bag so we, we still even have one more room uh, to go to whether or not we ever end up actually going to that room will remain to be seen but we also have our boss 
And we have Map, Compass, Nun's Habit. That's a very nice, you know, Holy Trinity from the shop. So I can't complain too bad about not getting uh, the purse, but oh well. I'm going to nonetheless. Okay, I didn't even use the Empress card on that uh, boss trap room. Just got too lazy. Tarot cards. Magician. It's a pretty bad one. Maybe shouldn't have used it just in case we got the D20 or something, but no big deal. All right, infestation is bad. Just not good. And I don't really... There we go, I want to win the red hearts. So if you could just give me more red hearts, or fly love so I'd have two item pedestals to reroll again, then I would love it. But uh, for now, I'm getting a little bit, uh, I would say a little bit bored with this floor, so I'm preparing to move along here. I think it's totally worth sacrificing one spirit heart considering how quickly we generate them to get a reroll on infestation. But pretty quickly we're gonna stop being um, so picky about our items. That also gives us a chance to get the HP upgrade there, so it's not just a foolish um, payout here. So PhD is is pretty good. It also gives us some red hearts that we could use to gamble on the uh, the blood bank. But with Luckfoot, it's mostly redundant. So I think I'm just gonna actually reroll it. We'll take one of the spirit hearts we just got and reroll that right away into skeleton key, which is worth picking up for sure. Um, so we want to take our Sun card with us. Oh, we can use Strength and just get two more plays on this right here. And we want Empress. Where did the Sun card go? It's, it's got to be somewhere around here. I'm sure. I can't believe we didn't get Bloody Penny. I guess I can believe it. The odds couldn't have been that good. Alright, you know what? You're going to get exploded. You had your chance. Uh, Skeleton Key's great. Obviously, we should have gotten Guppy's Paw. Womp womp. It happens. Now we do have another play on our blood bank here. Uh, safety cap. Now we can open the uh, golden chest guilt free. We still have a chance to become Guppy uh, and get Guppy's tail. It's fairly unlikely, but I would expect Guppy's head to be more likely to show up. I'm just wondering where the Emperor card went. Did I, I or not the Emperor, the, the Sun card. I didn't use it. I'm. Did I even take it down to this floor? I expect that I would have. I would be pretty silly if I didn't. It's not in this room, so it must be that room that's adjacent to the boss. Otherwise, I just lost it. In which case, you know, the Empress card is at least half decent, but it's not what we need. Blood Bank didn't pay out, but we have a staggering amount of money. If money equals power, rears its beautiful, beautiful head. And I would say we're, uh, we're pretty much free to go here. Should get enough red hearts to get back to full health. And is this the Sun card? It is. Okay. Thank God. All right, it's uh, Red Mom. Red Mom's not so bad. That was uh, bad damage, but it's not like we're trying to get a deal with the devil on this floor anyway. Careful. I mean, I would love to get a deal with the devil on this floor, but we'd need uh, a drop from Mom, which is extraordinarily unlikely. And I'm not stressing out over my HP too much, even though I'm taking damage, because we have um, Miter and Relic. And I expect that those will work out. And the Sun card to really bail us out of a shitty situation. Although the longer time goes without us using that, the better it'll be, of course. Easy. Pageant Boy sucks. So that'll be a reroll into the crate, which is substantially better. The card... It's a Sun card. Um, what's the pill, though? I found pills. Okay. So, I mean, we might as well use the Sun card right now. Because we have a second one. And we do need to take the Polaroid with us. It dropped the same card and the same trinket that we had. Uh, we don't really want I found pills. Sure, down to the next floor. Still good. Found our second secret room right off the bat. You know, it would probably be stupid of me for me, it would, it's an awkward way of phrasing that, it would probably be stupid for me to not go to the cursed room. I'll have a reroll, we're very strong right now. The Ankh is actually worth getting, I'd say. It gives us a meaningful life. Uh, whereas the ones from Nine Lives will pretty much just make me cannon fodder. We really need to do it on this life or the Ankh life, so... That's fine. But th yeah, this curse room is, is worth going to. And you can make the case for sure that it's worth going to after the boss fight, but I've already committed to this direction, so... I'm gonna live with my very, very minor mistake, even though we're here in time to um, to fix it if we wanted to. Oh, bad damage. As long as we don't take red heart damage, though, or any damage against the boss, at least, uh, then I'm still pretty happy with the way this is going. 
Haven't played as well as I played on the last run, but that's okay. Will we open that? We may open that. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so the curse room ended up being a whole handful of nothing. Golden chest, uh, it didn't pay out with what I wanted. I wanted an item, but it did pay out with enough consumables to make me feel like it's worth fighting three bosses, I guess. Mostly bombs, because we don't give a shit about money and keys, but the, the bombs are important. Nice combo there, the, the bomb freezes Chubb, and then uh, little Chubb comes in while he's frozen and does an awful lot of damage. So we should have like two monstros next. Yeah. And, ooh, careful. Not overly concerned about this one. I mean, our damage is, is not where I'd want it to be if I had the choice. And even if we don't become Guppy, I would love the opportunity to pick up Pact or Mark. So I really just like, I'm, I'm a deal with the devil filiac at this point, or maniac if you will. Uh, I would really, really desire, I didn't even see that spirit art before, I would really, really desire a deal with the devil to show up for almost anything. Common cold, maybe not familiars, but um, yeah, there's plenty of, of opportunities for stuff that I'd like. Money equals power, oh my god, that would be so good. But, uh, we, we need to earn that deal with the devil, or at least get it. Earn is maybe a strong word sometimes when you're talking about uh, Isaac, where there's a lot of uh, dice rolls and random chance happening. There we go, good dodge. We have a reroll ready, but nothing to use it on yet. Extra bomb is nice. I hope we don't fight Blast Assist. I really, really hope we don't fight Conquest, but I also do kind of hope we don't fight Blast Assist. I could see myself taking damage against, you know, double this room, which is what the boss is effectively. Or at least like 1.5 times this room. Can't remember if it's three big Blast Assists or, or four. Anyway, let's see what we got. It's gonna be Bloats, so how do I feel about Bloat? Eh, you know, usually pretty difficult. But for our purposes here, it might be, uh, might be okay. I wish it jumped a lot less, I'll tell you that much. Because it's very difficult for us to get in there to do any actual damage. Unless we're behind it. Uh, I'm revising my opinion on this boss fight. It's bullshit. Now if I sneak in some shots from afar, I'd feel a whole lot better. Don't jump, don't, okay, we're, well we're doing a lot of damage when we actually have the opportunity to do damage. Just trying to get like a little chub shot in from afar there, but it's not as easy as you might think. So we should pay very close attention to our silkworms. Because that's really all we can do during this elongated section where we can't do any damage to bloat itself. It's going to be a very strategic, a very tactical boss fight here, but we're doing well. We can just get, whoa, one more little, ah, oh, I took damage against the eye. There's just so much shit on the screen. I think I walked on creep there too, actually, but it's hard to see because the floor is so covered with red as well. Not all of it is, uh, not all of it is meaningful redness. And good, maybe a deal with the devil. Deal with the devil. HP upgrade as well. This is a very important deal with the devil. Nail and uh, Book of Sin are both awful for us. Uh, well, Spirit of the Night, Spirit of the Night, and the Pact are both uh, amazing for us. Those are both fantastic. So we didn't become Guppy here. We still could. It's it's getting increasingly unlikely. But um, the ability to fly plus extra tears and a little bit of damage helps out. I assume that it's on that side. Yep. And an internal heart. It's not like we're going to gamble on an arcade anyway, so that's a free HP upgrade. This is fairly typically where um, where we start to see a real slowdown with the items you get. So we've got to be content with our uh, with our run right now. Are we content with our run right now? I, yeah, I'm, I feel okay about it. There's a secret room here. It is there. Um, and it's a one-up. I think the one-up is worth re-rolling. You always do run that risk. We could get raw liver there, though. We could get a, a number of things. Let's keep in mind where our uh, secret room is, because that might be one of the most effective uses for our bombs, is if we can get uh, you know a triple HP upgrade or something like that. I'm content with this run, and I think we've got a pretty good chance against uh, Blue Baby and Beyond. Well, got Isaac and Beyond, I should say, but um, I am, I'd be lying if I said I weren't looking forward to the chest. Eh. Yeah. Oh, wow, we found our boss room so quickly. 
Yeah, I'd be lying if I said that because I really do desire a little bit of extra damage. To get carried would be nice right now. Oh, we don't have a reroll. What am I thinking? I don't think that's worth it. I think we fight mom's heart, then we go reroll um, dad's key. 14 bombs is enough. We're probably not going to be using bombs against Isaac anyway, so we'll just be content with what we have. That bomb did the crowd control for me, thankfully. Little Chubb is uh, occasionally glitching the fuck out, which I'm not a huge fan of. Should be dead right now, yeah. Put that down there. Watch out for knockback. Pretty much perfect. Might be able to get out of this without using all of our bombs. We could even save like five. That would be useful for, you know, possible tinted rocks or anything along those lines. Good. Permanently firing bombs already. We'll just keep uh, little Chad on the case here. And we should be done before those flies even get close. They got close, but that's okay. So we got an HP upgrade bare minimum. Let's see what we get in our secret room here to kind of tilt the odds even further in our favor. Unicorn Horn is not good enough. So we could go through some more rooms, but I'd rather just bum rush the boss so we can get down to the chest as soon as possible. Good, good, good. Okay, so what I like about this is that we do have map and compass because it's not a Curse of Darkness floor. Sure, okay, you know what? We'll gamble on this until we get down to 60 cents. Never mind. We'll, uh... Wow. We got two spirit arts out of it, which is pretty good. And we have a reroll pedestal for any time we want to uh, sacrifice a bomb. And to be honest with you, the reroll pedestal is probably worth more than a bomb right now. So, when they run into one another, they should blow up the bombs. That's my philosophy on things. I don't know why it feels like my tears are doing so little damage. I think it's like it's just an optical illusion because they have. Um, what am I trying to get at here? They have a. Uh, Spectral tear effect associated with it, so they look kind of like, you know, anemic and weak. No offense to people with, you know, like straight up actual anemia. Many of you are probably much physically or even mentally stronger than I am. I wouldn't be surprised. Not a huge fan of war with the knockback that we get from uh, stem cells, but whatever. More than quick enough to get away from him. And let's use our reroll up here. Uh, I forget what we got. We got a crystal ball, but we didn't reroll it. So this is our first reroll on it, actually, if I remember correctly. We get dead sea scrolls. Dad sea scrolls, more like. Clean your room. Yeah, okay, dad sea scrolls. We have a secret room. Uh, I don't love its placement. That demon judgment is actually really tempting because we have so many spirit hearts. So let's see what our secret room contains. Three cents. It's not very good. Well, let's play the Demon Judgment because we get, uh... We get rerolls out of it. And we get, you know, the equivalent plays that we got earlier. It would be nicer if we were at a half-hard interval and we can get a lot of plays, but so be it. I hate using uh, a bomb for every reroll pedestal. Hopefully we don't need reroll pedestals in the future, though. Shoop to whoop Pretty terrible. Straight up, uh, just not a good item for us. In any state, but this one, uh is included in that. There's our full reroll back, at least. No payouts, but... Hey, every reroll uh, is the possibility to get, like, a Polyphemus or something like that. Is this paying out with the secret room pool, or is it a universal pool? We've already picked it up, but... I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. We probably won't have the opportunity to get too many more rerolls from Demon Judgment anyway, unless we get a lot of red hard drops. I would like to get at least one red hard drop so we can uh, play Demon Judgment with the benefit of permanent Polaroid invincibility. There we go. That's pretty much exactly how that worked out right there. Yeah, let's give this a try. You only get, like, a one extra play as a result of it, or maybe even less because this... Yeah, this... It always pulls... Spirit hearts to give you half a red heart back, which I think is bullshit, but I want the payout here, so I'm I'm going for broke. Uh it's a speed upgrade. It's very risky. I hate the way that this works, but I guess it's to prevent abuse. I'm doing it again. Until I can see my spirit hearts start to dwindle from the top of the screen. I'm getting this demon judgment to fucking pay out, okay? You're gonna give me guppy. I know you are. Oh, come the fuck on. Okay, well, a font that pays for at least a few more plays of Demon Judgment. There we go. He gave us the quarter, which we can re-roll into the shears. It's, it's difficult to tell how well that went for us. 
um, spirit heart wise because we can't see our spirit hearts off the screen. So I don't know whether or not it was worth it, but you know, I, I know we have another reroll pedestal as a result of probably sacrificing a decent amount of spirit hearts, which we'll now try to recuperate. So far, so good. Uh, and we'll probably make an effort to get as many rerolls on this floor as possible now, which is very rare for me on the cathedral. Normally, just like to get to the boss as quickly as possible. But in this situation, um, you know, we're still um, very much needing like that one extra damage upgrade or that one sad onion or something like that. The more spirit arts we get from Miter and Relic. I mean, that's really why we have the ability to be as aggressive as we were on that uh, Demon Judgment play. The Demon Judgment play that I should point out a lot of people will probably disagree with. Especially if we end up not getting a decent item at all from it. I mean, I guess in theory it shouldn't really matter what item we get from it. It's either a good decision or a bad decision. But whether or not it pays out, uh, that's, that's what pays the bills here, so... Let's see. It's shaping up to be quite a long Isaac run. Have we picked up the shears? I can't recall. Common cold. It's worth picking up. So I feel like that went relatively well. The poison damage is going to be a nice augmentation for us. It's no guppy, but it's good. And my... Not that I don't become guppy a lot as is, but my, uh, my fatal flaw, I think, when it comes to uh, becoming guppy is that... Whenever I have, like, an objectively decent deal with the devil item, I never reroll it to try to become Guppy. I just take it. But it's a strategy that has worked very well for me. You know, Guppy items are fairly easy to come by, but hey, if I have to pass up a Guppy item to pick up, you know, Common Cold, the Pact, Spirit of the Night, etc., etc., well then we have two different ways of winning. We could win the normal way, or if a Guppy item shows up randomly in a curse room, we can win that way too. So I'm expecting a fairly easy Isaac fight here. We do not have a full suite of orbitals, and we are going to have, uh, you know, poison damage over time, which is going to give us a lot of shots to dodge. I don't love that, uh, but I am expecting that we'll probably be fine just because we have so many spirit hearts. And if we if we can get through this only losing, like, five or six, that would be a bonus for us. We do have poison bombs. Remember, I picked those up from our uh, second secret room fortune teller uh, crystal ball FADC that we did there bad damage, but hey, we've only been hit three times, and we're a little bit more than halfway through this fight, so it's looking like five, six, seven, somewhere in that vicinity for, for our damage on this fight, probably. It does get harder as you get closer to the end, but that's okay. Probably about 80% of the way through the fight now. Wish I could kill some of these angel fetuses with these poison bombs. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Almost done. One last poison bomb. Didn't quite hit Isaac there. That's okay, Isaac's dead. We still have spirit hearts off the screen, which is only like seven, but there could be 20 there. Or there could be 19 now, huh? Not gonna take that half heart. Can find the boss room, it's pretty close by. Rage is decent, little Chad is not. Doctor's remote is not, and uh, sack of pennies is not. I'm gonna take rage. Sorry. Uh, so we'll see what our pill is. Speed upgrade, sure, why not? Homing bombs is, well, let's fight greed first and then I'll talk about it. Homing bombs is the worst of the synergies, but it might not be the worst thing in the world to have extra bombs. Daddy long legs, I think I'm not gonna take because it doesn't do anything for us for the final fight. I, mostly I just want the extra bombs here. Obviously we're not gonna take the pills. So I think that, I think we're gonna reroll daddy long legs, which is weird because in most situations, daddy long legs would be the best item that we had there. Um, but I think in this one, we're just focusing so much on the final boss fight, not worrying too much about the rooms that come before it. And uh, Daddy Long Legs completely fails as a final boss item. It does, like, you know, the worst High Priestess damage of all time, and then just fucks off for the rest of the fight. So I'm not doing very well with respect to avoiding damage here, but uh, we might not need to. More Spirit Arts. Very good. Uh, so both of these get rerolled. We get Sister Maggie and Rainbow Baby. Neither of those are worth picking up, as you might expect. And if we end up picking up nothing, then yes, it will have been the wrong decision to have not picked up Daddy Long Legs. But if we get anything that's useful, even a spacebar item to replace uh, D6, which we're approaching the time where that will actually be very useful for us, um, then then I think it's worth rerolling Daddy Long Legs. But let's be honest, this run is not looking very likely to be in like a min-max uh, 
required position. It's looking like we're probably going to be pretty okay against uh, against uh, Blue Baby here. Friends to the end is... Well, it is what it is. Now, with the Miter, as we have, seems to make a lot of sense to kill Gluttony last and get Spirit Hearts back to make up for the HP that I lost. And I have lost a, a lot of HP. I'm not very proud of my performance on this floor thus far. But we might get carried nonetheless. I think, well, I think we, in all likelihood, will get carried nonetheless. Yeah, two more Spirit Hearts there. Kind of as expected. These two familiars are going to get rerolled, and we might not get another reroll. So we got Lard and Scapular. How did Lard only give us, like, one HP there? But either way, I'm, I guess I'm content with that. That was very strange. Normally, doesn't Lard give you a little bit more? Maybe it... I mean, I know it gives you a lot of containers, but doesn't fill them. I thought it gave you more than a half heart, though. Uh, if possible... Well, we have to kill... Uh, we have to kill Lust first. If possible, I would love to kill Super Greed second. But it's kind of a tough sell. I've already done a lot of damage to Wrath, just kind of like mindlessly firing. It would be nice to get the extra bombs. Even though we probably won't need them. Oh, we might be able to get lucky and... Hey, we did it! Like, very, very barely, I think. But, uh, we did it. Two extra bombs. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna be, uh, completely fine here. Unless I have, you know, exactly as many Spirit Hearts as are off the screen right now. That might put me in a difficult situation. But keep in mind, I will respawn with the Ankh as well, so... I'll have a pretty good chance on that, uh, play. Way too many shots to effectively dodge here. Oh, uh, the worst... The worst homing bomb of all time because a fly was close to me. We're not doing as much damage as I thought we would be doing, but every time I manage to get like a poison bomb little shove combo, that does uh, that does enough to make me feel pretty good about things. Uh, the fly homing bombs. That interference is so shitty, but we've won. We've won this run, and it wasn't because of the guppy gambit. It was in spite of the guppy gambit. Uh, Packed and Spirit of the Night late in the game, plus a staggering amount of HP upgrades, uh, just luckily. Good run, though. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.